you doing? As a former gangster, I might not have lived a completely moral life, but I did some good things too. Like the time I... Excuse me, Jimmy, you can't park here. No! Oh, get that thing out of my face! What's with you, anyway? I was getting used to seeing you without a billy club in your pants. Now the old attention hog's back? What gives? Allow me to explain. <laughs> let me tell you something of myself without a doubt. The best cop around who likes to let it all hang out. When my bosses said I had to put on underwear, I tried to take it off, but they said, oh, don't you dare. Wasn't very long before it wound up in the courts. The judge said, no, man, you don't have to wear those shorts. So I won the case because there are no precedents for a servant of the crown to put on his underpants. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Hey, forget about underpants. Let me get this straight. You sued for the right not to wear a banana hammock? I need to be free, Jimmy. The justice system is broken. I think it's just fine. Heck, McCool, if you didn't want to wear any clothes at all, I'd have no problem with it. <laughs> you know what bugs me? That's not how the song goes. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. Pop, why'd you drag me out here? I despise hunting. You gotta toughen up, kid. No more crying over dead mice. That you stomped on in the garage. Is that any reason to make me sit through a three-hour mouse funeral? Oh, that reminds me. You're free now, Mr. Whiskers. <sighs> What the hell was that? Ah! Ah! Sorry, fella, my kid dropped his gun. Well, be more careful, you wombat licker. Oh, I said sorry. What do you want, a note and some flowers? No, I want you wank stains to bugger off somewhere else. How about I wank stain all over your face? No, how about I bugger you? No, how about I will punch you? That's enough, gentlemen. No need to escalate beyond Australian insults and Scottish machismo. Be on your way, my Commonwealth compatriot. Jimmy, I need a word. Lucky your boyfriend stepped in. No, you're lucky my boyfriend stepped in. Oh, shit, Jimmy, just stop. Jimmy, what did I tell you to do before embarking on this trip? Go pee-pee before the long drive? No, the other thing! A cursory search of the Fish and Wildlife database tells me you did not obtain a hunting license. Hold it right there, McCool. What does cursory mean? As of now, this hunting excursion is officially over. Yay! Hear that, woodland creatures? The nightmare is ended! The forest is yours once again! <laughs> I guess making a man out of Petey is off the frickin' table. Why didn't you go hunting, Cheech? Cause staring down a rifle at one of God's majestic creatures ain't my idea of fun. I like to get in close with a blade. By the way, nice fur, miss. Cookie was gonna throw this out, can you believe it? Maron, that is the most gorgeous broad I ever seen. And I once met Prince. I don't know if she's your type. What? You think I'm prejudiced or something? I'll bang any kind of broad. No, look! She can't see, <laughs> which might help ya. I've dated a blind. They're terrible drivers, and they never compliment your outfit. Only outfit I'm wearing for her are tube socks and a smile. <laughs> <laughs> I'm choking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor boy. Did someone leave you all alone at the mall? <laughs> I think someone wants a tummy rub. Let's scram before his little lipstick pops out. Oh. And there it is. Who the hell asked you to come up here and be my babysitter? All you had to do was go online, fill out an SK-106294 application, wait the seven-day processing period, go to your local Service Saskatchewan kiosk, pay the $30 fee, cash only, and pick up a hunting license. But did you? No! And nothing could be simpler. Uh, McCool? What are you doing? Felling trees here is against the law. Must you do something reckless every time I turn my back? No. Sometimes when you turn your back, I hang signs on it. 
Oh, very funny, Jimmy. Stop that! It's off, okay? <laughs> They have a wild animal in there. That's not right. I got a license for it, you tit. A live animal removal permit. See, Jimmy, this is how you follow the rules. You must have some serious connections in government. Boy, what are you doing? Don't worry, gentle friend. You can run free now. I don't know what came over me. I was so terrified. I hope I didn't hurt any. Oh! What have I done? Oh, thank God. Oh! On the bright side, you're a man now, son. What's this about you ditching the girls to pick up some blind broad? I didn't pick her up. She adopted me. What the hell is that? It's my harness, Cook. I'm a C&I helper. You mean dog? If you want to put a label on it. I know being a dog is a hell of a step up for you, but you gotta tell this woman the truth. And break the bond of trust between us? I'll never get her in a sack. She's blind, but she's not gonna screw a dog. No, but maybe she'll make love to her. Now, excuse me. I gotta go get a flea collar. Those work on crabs, right? That was some good shooting, son. I'm gonna be sick again. I puked after my first mass murder, too. It gets easier. I'm so ashamed. Hunting is nothing more than recreational murder. Petey, God put animals on Earth for us to hunt, eat, and throw peanuts at when we go to the zoo. No, they're thinking, feeling, sentient creatures, just like you and me. Well, me. I agree with the boy. I think it's empty, sir. Why do people keep running away from me? Maybe because you hitch rides without asking. Or, because you're eight feet tall and smell like a biker's armpit. I think that smell is all you. Oh, sorry. I don't know what your game is, you son of a bitch. But you stay away from my girl. Boy, you're a hungry fella. Mm. This is the best thing I ever crammed down my food hole. Oh, stop. Sorry about trying to shoot you. It's okay. People shoot at us all the time. We think of it as a game. That you can die from. But I forgive you. This guy! He's so forgiven, like a big hairy Jesus! Unlike Jesus, this guy isn't imaginary. Why are you in the prairies? I don't know. One minute, I'm enjoying a nice mushroom snack in the forest. Next thing you know, I wake up in a farmer's field next to a very happy-looking pig. And for some reason, my penis was really sore. Plus, those hunters have been chasing me since B.C. You've been around since before Christ? Settle an argument. Jesus was real, wasn't he? And white? Yeah, and from British Columbia. Those hunters want to take me to a place where millionaires can hunt me for sport. I don't know what millionaires are, but they sound like dicks. I know how you feel. I was hunted once, too. Tilly ran crying to the feds and wound up here. What's a fed? Jimmy? You're about to meet one. Jimmy, I feel terrible about my tirade, so sweet button Cummings! Hey, a Mountie! Sometimes they chase me in helicopters. Jimmy? A word? How do you manage it, Jimmy? How? Manage what? To consistently put your own well-being in danger. There is a bona fide, mythical creature cramming lasagna into his food hole at your dining room table. So? He's not dangerous. He's a sweetheart. It's people like you who give Bigfeet a bad name. The term Bigfoot is uh, its actually kind of racist. Yeah, uh, just saying. What's next? Is the Loch Ness Monster going to emerge from your toilet for a tea party? 
Will a flying saucer land in your backyard piloted by Jimmy Hoffa? Hoffa ain't on no flying saucer, I'll tell you that much. That creature is a veritable magnet for the world's press. If word gets out about him, every reporter on the planet will show up outside your door. Ooh, that ain't good. Exactly. So until I figure out what to do, keep that beast in the house. Is that clear? Crystal. Gina, you're grounded. No! Oh, right. The Bigfoot. Oh, Canada, where a Sasquatch, Jimmy, really? What's this about me being fucking grounded? Here's some ribeye, big fella. I'm going to take a bath. Hey, get on out of here. You're a bad, bad boy. Don't make me get a rolled up newspaper. <laughs> oh no! D did I get you with the door? Come here, baby. Don't worry, we'll take you to the vet and get you checked out. Mm -hmm. And maybe neutered. Why can't I go outside? Father Sun's awake, Mother Moon's asleep, and Brother Sasquatch needs to drop a coil. It's dangerous out there. Besides, you've seen the great outdoors. Why not experience the great indoors? That's not a thing, silly. You made that up. What are you talking about? You got TV, the internet, video games. Is that all humans do? Sit around looking at screens? No, they also masturbate to those screens. And ordering food. Some folks live rich and fulfilling lives and never leave the house. Like who? Americans, greatest people on Earth, and the heaviest. Here's the remote. I'll get you a bowl of chips. <laughs> Salt and vinegar or ketchup? Damn it! One episode of Breaking Bad and he'd have never left that chair. <laughs> thing. What are you doing? You're supposed to be at home. I can't sit around all day. TV is boring, video games are confusing, and the internet keeps trying to sell me boner pills. And between you and me, I'm also kind of terrified of the vacuum cleaner. Look, back where you came from, what would the other Bigfoots do if you let humans know you exist? Oh, their vengeance would be swift and merciless. They'd take away my berries. We're gentle creatures at heart. Okay, I'm in a situation where if people found out about me, they'd let me keep my berries, but they'd probably remove my nuts and then feed them to me. That's confusing. I need you to blend. If people come looking for you, they might find me, and then I'm choking on a mouthful of my own nuts. I don't get it. Oh, you mean balls. Bingo. Let's go home. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> The same thing kept happening in Grand Theft Auto. It's hard on my knees, my hands are getting calloused. But the real problem is I'm carrying a lot of tension in my shoulders. Oh, and if you let on that I'm not a dog, I'll break your legs. I'm trying to nail this broad. Uh, uh, so can you give me something for my shoulders? How's my boy doing? He's just fine, ma'am. In fact, if it was me, I'd have sex with this animal. Oh, of course, that's just me. There's reports of a hairy man stalking the city and a 600% rise in dog disappearances. I'm doing my best, but the guy don't listen. Remind you of someone? Yeah, he's almost as bad as Cheech. <sighs> I checked the protocols for animal handling and couldn't find anything related to Cryptosimius giganteus. Leave your wang out of this. I'm talking about your furry friend. Leave my wang out of this. Focus, Jimmy! We're simply going to have to drive Sasquatch back to his home. 
Hopefully my animal trailer requisition goes through. I lied on the form. I circled other where it asks what type of animal. That's not really a lie. But it's not specific, Jimmy. That's tantamount to lying. <laughs> What the hell are you doing here? I was gonna apply for a job. What better way to blend in than by becoming a faceless office drone? I did up a resume and everything. Nice font, but that outfit ain't gonna fool anyone. Anyway. Come on, I'll buy you lunch. But I brought mine. Look at her. She's so beautiful. Maybe we got a shot. Not as dog and owner, but as man and smoking hot chick. I gotta end this before it gets weird. Finished, boy. I'm sorry, pal, but McCool's sending you back to Columbus Britannica. Ah, uh, this isn't fair. I'm just starting to live like a real human person. No outside food. Here, try this. It makes life's disappointments a little easier to take. It also leads to Cookie getting pregnant. Wow! That waitress just got really attractive. <laughs> I love you, Jimmy. You're my best friend. That's the beer talking. I think those two jerks at the bar ought to fight me. What'd you say about my mother? Oh, take it easy. What's that hairy guy pointing at, huh? Screw you, fella! Nobody understands me. Oh, screw it. Toby, get up! The city's going to shit and you're just lying around? He went on a rampage from one beer? Lucky you didn't order a pitcher, you'd be dead right now. <laughs> it's not funny, Cook! I'm worried about the guy! What if he gets shot by the cops only to escape at the last second, save a little girl from a fire and die, as everyone mourns his essential humanity? What the hell are you talking about? This is what happens with monsters! Don't you watch old movies? I gotta find him before he gets killed! Or grabs a blonde and climbs a building! Evening, ma'am. My name's Cheech McDoggy. I mean, McDougal. Have we met? I feel like I know your voice. You know my bark, you know my whimper, and now you're about to know my truth. Please don't ask if I found Jesus. I can't even find my shoes. I gotta level with you. I've been a real heel when I was healing at your command, but I can't live a lie no more. Plus, my knees are killing me, and the collar chafes. Tummy rubs are good, and the food, huh, forget about it. Anyway, long story short, I've been pretending to be your dog. <laughs> Boy, you kept this up way longer than I thought you would. Pardon me? Of course I know you're not a dog. I'm blind, not stupid. How many dogs have a zipper and pockets with keys in them? Slow down. I'm still figuring out zipper dogs. And you talk in your sleep, Cheech. But thank you. I haven't had this much fun in years. That's great. I'm a fun guy, as well as a dog. I was thinking, maybe you and me could... I guess this is a bad time to admit I've been stealing your panties. I'm calling the police! It's out of our hands, Jimmy. Animal control will take care of that drunk and disorderly hairball. That's what I'm afraid of. He's gonna wind up dead or in a lab. Or dead in a lab, with a pervy scientist prodding his butthole. You don't know what science does, do you? Help me find them. Then I'll drive him back to D.C. D.C. Fucking metric system. You know what I mean. Come on. If it was me, you'd do the same thing. Sure, you'd lecture me the whole time, but you'd still do it. Damn it, Jimmy, all right. But how can we find a creature who's eluded detection for hundreds of years? Pop! McCool! What is it, boy? The Australians nabbed Sasquatch outside our house. I ran out to help them, but they drove off. I tried to chase them on my bike, but I ran over a cat. 
Wait. Those Australians had a B642-180 animal removal permit. Of course! I have no idea what that means. It allows for air transport of live animals. My obsessive knowledge of protocol and procedure pays off once again. To the airport! What to do? Technically, they're not breaking the law. But aren't they breaking a moral law? Is it my responsibility as a servant of the crown to enforce moral laws? No, but as a human being, you have an ethical imperative. But are ethics not bound by a set of subjective values? There's nothing subjective about the rights of a sentient being. Back me up, Pop. Oh, no! Mother! Once he's dead, we'll feed him to the Yeti. Why wait till he's dead? For animal rights everywhere! Ah! How do I stop? How do I stop? Oh my god, please stop, please stop, please stop! Cheech! Them guys jumped me outside our house. I thought the blind chick sent him. The man they call Ravine. If Cheech is here, then where the devil is Sasquatch? Come on, lady, which one pretended to be your dog? Well, let me see. Oh, right, I can't, you dumb motherfucker. Yo, dog breath, you made bail. Wow, what an adventure. I got drunk, I got kidnapped, and I had sexual relations with a pig. That's an average weekend in Winnipeg. I also learned that humans are terrible and my people should kill and eat them. What? Nothing. Well, McCool, I learned my lesson. It warms my heart to hear you say that. I hope from now on you'll try to meet me halfway. Not that. I mean, I went before we left. This is a long drive. I should have gone before we left. Hey, yo! Why is the floor wet? It's nice he went back with a piece of our culture. The Sasquatch population? is doomed. Oh man! We forgot to get a picture! Oh, God! Saskatchewan, la 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 la